Canva AI image generator tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step-by-step -step on how you can generate amazing images like these using Canva. Whether you're trying to create a hyper-realistic snapshot of yourself, or if you're trying to create some amazing images or portraits, or if you're just trying to create something that is right out of a fantasy novel, you can do it all by using the Canva AI image generator. So let's get started. To get started, all you need is a Canva account. You can sign up for Canva using your email address and that is it. Now, once you have signed up on Canva, on your homepage, you will see three tabs. Within this, you will see Canva AI. Simply click on Canva AI. Once you click on Canva AI, you can click on create an image. When you click on create an image, Canva will give you three tabs on the bottom. This allows you to choose the style. Styles include smart, cinematic, creative, bouquet, macro, illustration, 3D renders, cinematic, again. Then we have portrait, sketch, moody, minimalistic, vector, pop art, and other types of styles. So you can pick out the style that you want. But what happens if you do not pick any style and leave it at none? When you don't pick any type of style, it automatically detects whatever it can find within the prompt and it creates an image based upon the style it thinks would be best suited. So if I ask it to build a cartoon character of a 90s cartoon animation, it will automatically try to adapt to that particular style. Then you have different sizing, so you can choose the size that you want. Additionally, you also have the ability to add media or any of your recent images to use as inspiration to bring your ideas to life. Now, starting off, we're going to first be building our fantasy landscape. So for this, I have a very simple prompt and it is just a mystical floating island with waterfalls into the clouds, glowing crystals embedded in the terrain and a pastel sunset sky with fantasy art style. Now you guys can see I have already defined the art style as fantasy art, but if I want to make this type of illustration, but I want to make it even more interesting, I can ask it to maybe do it in a bouquet or illustration, but I'm going to leave it at none so you guys can see what type Types of images the Canva AI is going to generate when we are going to give it no particular style that is defined. So you guys can see this is what it has created. Now this particular prompt has created a very interesting island but it does not look very hyper realistic because I did ask it to make it fantasy style and it's very direct. So if I want to improve upon this, I can take the same prompt with waterfalls cascading into the clouds, a large city with a castle in the middle, glowing crystals embedded in the terrain and a pastel sky, and I'm going to change the final bit to not include that particular bit where it says a fantasy art style. Then I'm going to change the art style to smart because that is going to generate some of the more interesting looking art that we see with AI generated art. Now I'm going to take a look and I'm going to show you guys a comparison that just a few changes have made in our prompt. So you guys can see this looks far more interesting and beautiful as compared to our first illustration which looked a bit cartoonish because we defined it with a fantasy art style. So these are the four images that it has generated. Now all of these look really beautiful. I personally really like this. Now if you want to save any of your images, you can just click on this download icon to download the image, like so. However, if you want to further copy this image, you can copy it and then paste it in your designs. You can also directly click on edit to open up the image. When you click on edit, a new tab is going to open up with the image. And then within that new tab, so a blank canvas will open up. And after your blank canvas, your image is going to be pasted on top of your blank canvas and you can change the sizing and alter the image however you like. Now going back into the Canva AI generator, now we're going to design something different. So now I want to build something such as a food photography mock-up. So for this, I'm going to be adding a different type of prompt. A rustic flat lay of a wooden table with artisan sourdough bread, olive oil, herbs, and a little napkin with natural lighting. The style for this, let's say, I want it to be a creative style. 
And I also want to maybe include some other elements, but for now, we're going to generate the simpler version and then make some improvements upon this once we see the results of our simple version. So you guys can see that this is what it has generated and this is very beautiful. I personally really like these types of styles of images in AI art. They look AI art, but they also look very pleasing and appetizing as well. So this is pretty amazing. Now, if you want to take any of these images and improve upon it. So if I want to take, let's say this image, what I can do is that I can copy the image and then I can click on over here, go into recent images and then select this one, click on use image. And then I want to show two people eating this beautiful woman and a handsome man with wearing casual clothes. And now I have taken this basic image of a food item and I have asked it to show me people eating these food items. So you can take whatever you have created and improve upon it and add more elements. So although the initial image did not have, you know, this milk element or some of these other things that are being displayed, it still has taken the aesthetic feel and the general appearance and copied and replicated that. Now you guys can see some prompt details which have been altered. Obviously, when you enter a very basic prompt, these details are going to be created and altered by the Canva AI itself. Now you can choose the type of art style you want. And if I do the same art style and ask it to do this, which is our basic prompt, which generated our bread image, and I do it in the form of pop art, and I am going to enter this prompt with the style of pop art selected, you will see there's going to be a stark difference in what type of image is created because the type of image is highly dependent on the art style selected. So you guys can see these were very warm images, but these images are slightly different. Now, if I go ahead and paste in the same prompt, I choose a sketch style and i'm going to remove the final part about the photo style that i want now you guys can see that this is a very different type of image this looks very much like a sketched out image a digital sketch and we can choose however we want to optimize our images by taking some of the pre-made styles available to us or by using our own style by entering that in the prompt so this is how you can get started with Canva's AI image generating tool. Now, Canva does give you around 500 credits within the first 30 days, and then your credits are going to reset every 30 days. So you are provided with more credits at the end of or at the beginning of every month so you can keep on generating Canva AI art. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.